It's Friday, fool, and you need this tool. Welcome back to another glorious episode of It's Friday, Fool! You Need This Tool. My name is Kyle Voss, and every Friday I bring you a tool. A tool that I use here in this shop, or that I have featured on this channel. Every week now for like, I don't know, 80 weeks, 85 weeks, 81 weeks, however many episodes I have done this series, I've basically told you, hey, you need to go buy this tool. Well, this week's different. I'm giving you one for free. That's right. So I'm not actually sending you a tool, but I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you, I'm give you an idea that you can just make yourself. That's a useful tool. It won't cost you anything. Be free. Be free. It's free. It's a free tool from me to you. So I've been in the shop a lot lately, working on the Bibster, the Fox Body Hot Rod, the. Fox body, the modern day hot rod, the what well, used to be a Mustang, but I cut up and trying to make into a hot rod. That build. currently doing chassis work. I'm doing all two chassis in that thing and one of the tricks that I use, one of the tricks I use while doing chassis work is the trick tool that I'm going to show you today. I'm going to give it to you for free. No charge. So a lot of times when doing chassis work you work with these tubes. This is chromoly. I think it's like a 080. Let's see. Ah, it doesn't matter anyway. You work with these tubes, and you'll you'll take you'll make a measurement. I don't tape measure. So what you'll find yourself doing is pulling a measurement, and you'll need to bend, start a bend, cut it, notch it, whatever it is at four inches. So you'll put a little four-inch mark on there, and you'll get over to the bender, and you'll try to set it up, and you have to clock this thing because you already have a bend right here, and it has to be clocked a certain way. And then guess what? You can't see your mark or your mark's not in the right spot. So, a lot of people, I'm not the only one, I didn't invent this. A lot of pe people use these things they call wraparounds. The wraparound is the tool that I'm going to show you. Basically what a wraparound is, is some straight edges on something that's pretty flexible. You can basically wrap this thing around this tube as long as it lines up with itself on the other side. Like that. Then you know that that mark will be exactly the same all the way around that tube. So you just give her the old wrap around. Boom, there you go. Now you have a mark all the way around that tube at that measurement. So it doesn't matter how you need to chuck it up to notch it or to bend it or whatever, you're always going to be able to see your mark at five inches or whatever the measurement was. This ain't fancy. This thing was made out of a natural light case. So what I like to do is I like to actually keep these cereal box front and back or Coke, beer cases, whatever it is. I like to keep this stuff for templates in the shop. I like to keep it for stuff like this. Um, you might be able to go buy these, but man, it's easy they are to make. You do it like this. Make sure that you have straight edges on both sides. If you don't have straight edges on both sides, make sure you at least have a straight edge on one side and have it marked so you know which side is straight. And then just make sure that it's like, you know, an inch and a half or two inches thick. And what that'll do is as you wrap it around that tube, it will ensure that that that, that line is, is true all the way around. 
If you have done any kind of tube work, you'll understand why this right here can come in extremely handy. And you may, some of you have made, already have made one of these, but for those that you haven't, there you go, a free tool for you. I've been kind of slack here lately. A lot going on in the shop, been trying to get some stuff done. Haven't been doing much filming, but that's gonna change. So there you go, the wraparound tool. I don't even know what the technical real name is for it, but it's called a wraparound. As always, thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you guys some more this week. It's Friday, fool. 